what's up guys so just got down here to florida by the way i had to go through four freaking tolls to get here florida is insane um i wasn't planning on video and anything until tomorrow but uh you have to check this out where we're staying it looks like we're staying on a freaking straight up farm we got cows checking us out trying to figure out what's going on can't stand it guys I gotta go over here and see what we're dealing with on this hog I, I like I feel like he's tame but I know there's a bunch of wild hogs in Florida it's a pretty good size one I don't know he's eyeballing me up pretty good And we're here. Stop number two. FLW Tour just rolled up down here at Big Toho Marina. And y'all aren't gonna believe this, but yet again, it's foggy. Which means we're gonna have another uh, start of the practice where you can't really see where you're going. See what's out there, especially a lake like this where you're looking for shallow cover, but we'll make it work. Everybody has to deal with the same exact conditions, so it is what it is. Somebody just ran their boat like way up on the curb. Anyway, so uh, we'll get put in. I'll kind of give you all a quick rundown of what the conditions are, kind of what we're looking at. Um, it's like 60 this morning. Like I said, it is foggy, but um, if y'all watched, there's a tournament here earlier this week, and they didn't really catch them that well. I mean, they catch like a, an occasional big one, but overall, they just didn't, they weren't catching like, great big ones you know they catch one big one and then a bunch of rats but but all week long it's actually supposed to be warming up for us which is if you've ever fished florida you know that is freaking huge i'm talking about warm up like getting up into the 80s most days is actually in the 80s um so i think like my prediction here's what's gonna happen by the end of the week i think some guys will be looking at them um they're definitely going to be coming this time of year they want that's where they want to be um and so i think you'll see some of that and you'll see um i'm gonna say you're gonna see a lot of the old i didn't catch them in practice and then oh 18 pounds showed up so we'll see regardless we're in florida and we're gonna have a good time mr james nickmeyer here howdy howdy Helping me out with a boat launch. It's kind of a mess. Anyways, guys, fixing to get started. Give you all a rundown of the conditions here in just a minute. See you soon. So, you're expecting to be watching me put my boat in the water and be fishing right now. Made a mistake, guys. So, second day of the tournament, uh, my buddy, my roommate, Evan Barnes, asked me on the way to the ramp. He texted me and said, Hey, man, do you have an extra card I can borrow? Yeah, sure thing. So he pulls up to me um, right before takeoff. I throw him a card. He's like, man, it only has like a minute left on it. I was like, ah, oh, just format it. It should be fine. I thought I cleared it. Get back in off second day. Look in my camera bag. There's two cards laying in there. I get to looking. Nope. It was still kind of dark when we took off. And I guess in the rush, I handed him the card of my day one practice. Terrible mistake. So, I apologize, y'all don't get to watch day one. I have day two and day three right now for you to watch. Sorry you don't get to watch the day one because it was by far the best day of practice I had. It's actually where I ended up finding the spot that I caught on the second day of the tournament. So, go ahead and make fun of me down in the comments below. Sorry, guys. Good morning, good morning, guys. Just got dumped in the water here. Actually on uh, Cypress, Lake Cypress. So if you're familiar with um, the Kissimmee chain, that's uh, it's right below Toho. 
only launched here um, going to Kissimmee like I told you all yesterday but only launched here because it's like 30 minutes closer to the house um, and you don't have to drive down a dirt road to get to the ramp and uh, I may end up fishing some of these lakes you know find like a stopping point coming back so ready to get after it hopefully it's gonna be a little more sunny today like I was telling y'all yesterday in Florida sunshine means the bass bite in general this time of year you get sunshine, especially when it's been kind of cold the way it has been if you get sunshine um, generally the bass are gonna bite a little better people at the ramp this morning were even talking about man when that Sun came out yesterday they started to bite uh, that's the deal I mean they're just starving they're wanting wanting some more ready to do their thing so, ready to go find them I'm ready to go find them. Let's go. So just got to the uh, first little spot I'm gonna start on. Um, and I wanna show y'all something, you know, cause a lot of y'all probably live in Florida, but some of y'all um, come down here just for fun or you may have a tournament. So when you're, when it's, they're kinda, you know, looking at spawning, this is kinda what we're looking at. Um, so see how, it's just like, the Midwest or you know a little further up north they're still gonna spawn in protected areas so this is north this way um, north ish north is uh, anyways um, so you can see something like that would be an awesome little protected uh, spawning cove so what you do is you just start working your way around because there's huge areas but you're still looking for those protected areas and you can see it kind of has a super subtle drain and everything's subtle in Florida real subtle um, and so you know if you don't catch them up here on the bank you're gonna step out a little further maybe trying to find some offshore grass and that's how you find those staging fish you're still working those um, staging areas those spawning areas um, they're just a little more subtle than maybe what you're used to back home So, mid afternoon now, um, in here, and I, hopefully, you can see all the different types of vegetation. And that's something that caught my eye was all the different types of vegetation coming down this bank. I did just catch a little rat, I don't, didn't get it on video, but y'all didn't miss much there. It's just another one of those just 12 inches um, that I caught earlier. It's still tough. I mean, it's still super, super sporadic. Still hadn't found an area that I feel like you can go and catch them real quick. And ideally, that's what you're gonna have somewhere. You know, I mean, you're, it's about 40 minutes to walk through and get down here. So, I mean, you need to be able to come down here and catch them pretty quickly. Two and a half, three pounder. Not too bad. So I'm gonna show you all what I'm fishing. I came in here just like we were talking earlier, where those spawning bays are. You can see that little point right here. Just the first little run up there, something to stop on. Little <coughs> the day update for you. It sucks. 
I mean, for me today, down here, I mean, it sucks. Came down to Kissimmee, started out flipping pads. Uh, kind of what I've done all day, flipping pads, what Kissimmee's known for. Um, just got done fishing. See this little hole I was talking about earlier, just a little spawning thing. Um, been flipping a tube. Uh, threw a fluke around a little bit. I did have a bite on a fluke. One bite flipping on a tube, but I'm not sure that it was even a keeper. So, or that it was even a bass, sorry. Um, I don't know what, it, the problem down here. So y'all, I'm gonna show y'all, you can see all the pads. And you would think, like, oh, awesome pads. But there's so many of them. So I think I'm gonna slow down and flip like a, I think I'm gonna slow down and flip like a Cinco, just real slow, it's like almost weightless, like an eighth ounce, something like that. I'm gonna give that about an hour, and then I'm gonna start running just banks that aren't like really spawning pocket looking areas. Um, just kind of like hard bank stuff that I found. And uh, maybe look for isolated stuff, isolated reeds, isolated. I don't like doing that because I, I would honestly, I'd much rather fish areas that have a lot. I'm a numbers guy, I love. If I can catch 20, 30 a day and weed through them and then catch big ones, I'm happy doing that. But so far it's not working for me. So time to change it up, that's what practice is all about. Bigs. I don't know what in the world I have to do to get away from these fish. I mean, if this is the biggest fish as I'm gonna catch, Uncle Simi, I dang sure. Here's the thing though. I think that's a little female. Look at that. Hmm. That's pitiful. All right, guys, that is it for me. All right, guys, that is it for me. Day number two, it's been a long one. Had high hopes going down to Kissimmee today, and uh, it just didn't It just didn't turn out the way I had hoped. Um, ended up catching probably seven, eight fish. I mean, y'all saw it. Um, one decent one and then just some just just rats absolute rats um i don't know it, it so my plan is give you all a rundown so we actually got some sun today water got all the way up to that's remember that's inside the boat but i did see like some 68 and stuff but the water is that real dark black color here so it uh i mean it warms up really quickly it'll cool down overnight too um, you know, it, and, and I figured out I can go up shallow and go flip a little, like a, like a go up and like flip a stick worm around and, and catch a few, but they're just rats, absolute rats. So I, what I think the deal is, is on, well, what is it, Toho. So when you go up to Toho, you know, they're all still in the same stage, but up there there's offshore structure, there's offshore grass, hydrilla. Um, there's something for us to fish. Down on Kissimmee, you know, fish don't have to be on anything. They don't have to be, they can just go out. And so there is some stuff to punch, but I did that and I never had a bite. So I think they're just not up there yet or they're up there and they're just not biting yet. Um, talking about down on Kissimmee. Um, so I think Kissimmee will turn on. I gotta decide tonight what I wanna do tomorrow. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go back to Toho hunker down in Toho and probably go grab some grass edges and because that's such a solid pattern when you get on it the whole offshore grass so we'll see long day today we're gonna put in long day tomorrow figure something out hopefully we catch more fish uh, tomorrow actually figure out a pattern tomorrow so anyways we we'll get something to eat. See y'all later. Morning, 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 guys. Out here, it is day three now. 
golly practice you want to talk about flying by it has absolutely flown by this tournament um mainly because probably because the bite just wasn't any good yesterday for me um just wasn't any good for me so we're out here getting a little bit of a late start uh, about 15 minutes late actually taking off um but i i re-rigged had to change the rods up a little bit i had yesterday afternoon man i must have had i bet you had 20 20 rods on the deck uh, got a little bit spun out trying to get a bite but uh sorry looking at something so kind of what the reason i uh re what i was doing with my rod is trying to get down i'm always big on when it gets tough you want to have a couple of uh, confidence baits you know those that you know that you can go get a few bites on um, and so that's exactly what i was doing i was just getting on my like i think i got about 10 rods up there now 10 things i know they will bite in florida if you get around them so uh, got those rigged up and i'm gonna hunker down back up here on toho today because um, it's offshore hydrilla so here's the deal with uh with florida it seems like if you're if you're practicing or if you're fishing a tournament in florida there's so much money that's won on one offshore hydrilla and two flipping a big weight punching you know mats things like that and so uh, i feel like i can do that up here on toho uh, i'm gonna go find it today see y'all later oh this third day is just can't find what i'm looking for when you get in hydrilla like this it's just back to looking for shallow fish because I got to know if my hydrilla thing doesn't work out, my offshore hydrilla, I got to be able to go catch the fish here on Toho. Uh, so far it's 11 o'clock, I ain't had a bite. So, might be in scramble mode here soon. Decided to stop real quick and here's why. All right, I'm gonna scroll back on my graph. I've been going through hydrilla, hydrilla, hydrilla. I showed y'all before all that distortion. That's all grass because it's so thick. And I actually idled through a big mat of it. And you can see it opens up. So now we're into clean water. So we're gonna stop and fish the backside of these mats here. Everybody knows fish love edges. Sometimes the edge is edge of a boat dock, sometimes it's a grass edge. We'll see what we can come up with. I could get back to Toho and I get back to this size. All right, guys, that is it for me. Three long, hard days of practice. Not just super pumped with it, but it is what it is. It's gonna be all the same conditions for everybody. It's Florida, it's warming up. Crazy things happen in Florida. Everybody knows that, people catch biggins. Um, I never did go back to the area that I had a good first day on, so who knows? Maybe I'll roll in there, bust a few big ones right off the bat. Either way, Hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me for three days of practice. As always, I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch it. If you really liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can catch all the other videos, including the tournament video coming up this week. And hey, tell your friends. Do me a solid. Tell your friends. See y'all later. Hope y'all liked it. Check the tournament, tournament video coming later this week. See y'all later.